So many Americans suffering from economic hardships, it's no wonder that 77% of Americans say they are dissatisfied with the way things are going in this country. But our next guest says there are seven easy steps to overcoming the many hurdles we're facing. Squire Rushnell is the best-selling author of the Godwink series. His newest book called Divine Alignment expands on that successful series, and he joins us live. Good morning Good to you. Good morning. Very nice to see you. Steve, great. Uh, do you want to start with a comment on the rocket? Oh, well, <laughs> it's gonna listen, take off. we are faced with all kinds of uncertainty today, aren't we? We are. You, when your first book uh, came out, God Winks, yes. I love that because you talked about, and you had a bunch of stories about the coincidences in our lives that are actually little winks we're getting from God. Yes, well, God Winks are like those little signposts along your path when you're feeling uncertain like today. Right. And they are signposts of hope, but divine alignment takes the idea to a broader level and it shows how we are all interconnected by invisible threads god wink by god wink on this incredible gps god's positioning system so you take a gps oh that's good i like that a lot <laughs> so you look at these little the coincidences that go in a row and you line them up and that's the divine alignment that well, leads you to wherever we're going yes you just think about all the unbelievable god winks that brought you where you are right today the people that fell into place the events the people you bumped into you were divinely aligned to place you right here this is my lucky day then, that I would talk to you. It's another coincidence. Now, you've got, you've got some points on how to reach our full potential, and, and we'd like if you would expand on them a little bit. First of all, speak with the navigator. What does that mean? Well, if you're going to program your GPS, and I believe that we have a built-in GPS, then what you need to do is to talk to the navigator. Mm -hmm. And the more you talk to the navigator, the closer you're going to get to understanding what he wants with your life. So you're saying you should pray. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about mapping your destination? Well, if you don't know where you're going, any path will take you there. And so therefore you need to have uh, a destination that you believe is what your destiny is. But so many people don't know where they're going. They just get up in the morning, they just know, I'm, I gotta go to work, I gotta get the kids off to school, I got, I got to finish the day and then I'll think about tomorrow, but they really don't have an eye on the prize, do they? No, they don't. And it's very important for us to really understand, to think about where do we think we need to be going. And you can't sit by the side of the road waiting for your destiny to come to you. You have to get up off your baggage and head for what you believe to be your destiny. And when you do, right. the God winks will be there and the divine alignment is going to unfold. Squire, explain this one. Uh, gratefully arrive with a full well within. Well, so many people are feeling an emptiness right from the beginning of life. We feel as though we, we have to fill this well within with something that will make us contented. From the time that we're crying as a baby to a kid when we're starting to eat more, when we start to put things into that well within, like alcohol and drugs and cars and things, and we realize that that well will never be filled by anything. Mm -hmm. It needs to be filled by the power of God's love. Have you always been such a spiritual guy? No, I, I'm, I'm the guy who brought you Schoolhouse Rock well, and I know Good it. Morning America. <laughs> I know. But What happened? Well, <laughs> where, did, where did this come from? No, I, this spirit was always there. I just figured out that all of these little things like God winks that I thought were uh, just fascinating news stories really have a purpose in our lives. And, and, and these seven steps yeah. really are important guidelines for us. And if you don't read them in the book, you can go to Facebook dot com slash god winks i listed them all there today fantastic well it's a great book and, and i love the stories that you tell in a divine alignment thank you very much squire rushnell we thank you very much for joining